Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jensine, AKA Jungle Naps, and today you and I are gonna be talking about some of my beauty favorites for the month of June 2018. And uh, I'm also gonna talk to you about some products that I really didn't like, but just were awful for me. So you know what? If you're brand new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, join the family. I upload three times a week. You're guaranteed to find something that you like on my channel, and give this a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. Okay, so I'm just going to start off straight off the bat telling you what products I didn't like. The first one is the ColourPop No Filter Powder. This is the Banana Powder. I hate this. <laughs> if you watched my review, um, basically, I don't like this because it really makes me look like I've, I'm wearing like the wrong color concealer. Like it's just off. I've used concealers that are some of my favorite, my holy grail ones, and when I use this to set, it just looks so off. It doesn't have that nice banana powdery look that the Sasha um, powder does. It's it's there's something off about it. Um, maybe if you have a lighter complexion, it's gonna work. But for my complexion, it just does not look good at all. Even though it's nine dollars, I consider it nine dollars wasted. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically gonna have to toss it. Now another product that I didn't like. At all. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield as uh, their SPF Skin Shielding Primer. Now maybe you saw my video where I tested the best-selling primers from e.l.f. and this one, girl, when I tell you, you put this on your face and it's literally just like all white. Basically has like a beigey tint to it. Um, I would have preferred if it was just like one of those um, SPFs that blend into your skin. It's a little bit more translucent, but it's literally like your whole face is white. For me, that's not a cute look. Um, you know, obviously with a primer that has SPF, you're going to have some flashback, but it just it was not cute. Um, I would not recommend this to a person of color. <laughs> I would just say just use your normal SPF and then prime and proceed with your regular makeup routine. It's just not worth the money. All right, so now I'm ready to share some of the products that I loved this past month. And uh, there are some real goodies in here. So the first one is a new setting powder that I got. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I've heard a lot of people on YouTube talk about this and I was like okay come on really like it's just another setting spray for Morphe it can't be that special and when I tell you honey I'm in love with this it's the best primer for uh, making your makeup like melt into your skin to get rid of that powdery look typically what I do is I'll use a setting mist like this to melt the makeup in and then I'll go on top of it with a mattifying uh, spray so I get kind of a nice radiance glow without looking oily or anything like that or too dewy you know um, it's just like a nice radiant and the makeup looks like so just like melted in it's amazing so honey let's talk about primer for a second okay I live in the Northeast and right now the humidity is like re ridiculous. <laughs> I did not even know it would get this humid in Vermont so I can only stick with some mattifying primers right now because it's so insane. Um, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and this is uh, a mattifying primer. It controls oil and shine, minimizes pores, has a hydrating feel. It's not like gonna make you oily. When it says hydrating, it basically goes on, but it doesn't like have that like dry feeling that some mattifying primers have, you know what I'm talking about? And it also smooth skin and it does that. And I'm wearing it right now and you can see how good my makeup looks, okay? So <laughs> it is really, really does work well and keeps you matte. Um, depending on how oily you are, you know, maybe it's normal, you might have to touch up a few times throughout the day but I mean I've been wearing this makeup for a while sitting under these hot lights and it's still doing amazing. All right so next up let's talk about some hair products. If you guys have been watching me for a while you know I have natural hair I like to spice it up with some wigs get a little sassy with them but it's really important to me to keep my natural hair super healthy and my hair is so thick that it's so hard to detangle. I mean, if I didn't use a good detangler, I could easily spend an hour detangling my hair before wash day. It's ridiculous. Um, my favorite detangler is this Sultanicals Knot Sauce. It's a coil detangler, and when I tell you I can just detangle my hair in like 
10 minutes or less, which is amazing. <laughs> Speaking from somebody who basically used to spend an hour, okay, detangling my hair before washing it, 10 minutes, that's amazing. And I love things that help me save time. It just makes your hair like so smooth and silky and it's got amazing stuff that's like super good for your hair. This company, Sultanicals, is run by a mama four and it's also black owned. Uh, so that's amazing. Definitely check the company out. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. This is my second bottle, by the way. And I love that this time they have the nice pump that makes things so much easier. Speaking of hair products. Um, I've got a great leave-in for you to try if you're interested. This one is from Redcan. It's the extreme anti-snap, anti-breakage leave-in treatment for distressed hair. <laughs> Basically, this is really, really great if you're experiencing any kind of breakage in your hair. Maybe you use heat. Maybe you don't use heat, but like your ends are just kind of like fragile, you know, as they get older. This one has protein and ceramide to help fortify weakened areas and and it also protects internal strength and reinforces surface protection and shine. And when I tell you this thing works, it's so good. Um, especially if you're gonna be straightening your hair or anything, you can use this. It works really well with any product. Um, I haven't had a problem with any flaking or anything like that. Um, whether I'm gonna straighten my hair, whether I'm gonna keep it in its kinky natural state, it works so amazing. But yeah, highly recommend you get this one. All right, so now I wanna take it back to makeup for a little bit. Um, basically, you know what I have to say, I've been trying a lot of foundations lately, but the one that I'm sticking with in this hot, humid weather is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I know this isn't for everybody. Basically, I think that, you know, you have to be really happy with the way your skin is naturally because this foundation is super natural. It doesn't have a lot of coverage. If you have uneven skin tone or, you know, just a lot of breakouts, hyperpigmentation, you're definitely gonna need to color correct or spot conceal. I'm very lucky I do have pretty nice skin because I take care of it so this foundation is awesome it's transfer resistant um, it's a matte but it's also like comfortable it doesn't look cakey at all it works with like a ton of different makeup products as well which is amazing and I also love that it's got a nice little pump right here um, I am in the shade d40 if you'd like to learn more about this one you can definitely watch my review if you're interested all right so I I've got some lipsticks that I've been loving and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned them before but honestly I mean they're just so good I gotta mention them again <laughs> so these are the lipsticks from the Colourpop and Makeup Shayla collaboration this one is in the shade Come On Sis and this one is in the shade Ooh, which is a nice um, orange shade. I'm actually wearing it right now uh, just with some, you know, dark berry liner around it and it just looks awesome. Isn't this like, it's like a colorful version of a 90s lip. <laughs> um, but they're just so good. They go well with everything. I love the packaging. Such cute, um, lipstick you know packaging it's it's amazing so this next primer is one that i mentioned to you guys a little bit but um whenever i tell you guys that i'm using this you're always like well, what kind is it so i figured i'd just mention it to you guys again this is the clarence instant smooth perfecting touch primer now it is a wrinkle filling primer so it's designed to fill your fine lines uh wherever you get fine lines if it's in your forehead uh, you have some crow's feet going on or smile lines, this is great for that. Now I use this for my smile lines and the best way to use this is you just use a tiny amount and you tap it into your skin. You don't rub, you don't smear, you just nice tapping motions and um, you do have to wait for it to dry. Basically what I do is I put this on first thing, then I do my brows, I do my eyes. By the time I get to my foundation, it's dry. Um, but yeah, I highly suggest this. It is around 30 something dollars in that price range. I got mine off of Amazon, but honestly you use so little, like every time it's gonna last you a 
long time. Um, so yeah, it's it's great. I can't say enough good things about it. So a, another setting mist that I've been loving, especially for the summer heat, is the Urban Decay Chill. Now this one is a cooling and hydrating setting spray. Now I know the hydrating makes you think that it's gonna make you look dewy, right? Uh, but I actually used it before when I was setting my makeup for today. And what it does is it has a super great cooling effect. So if it's like hot outside, it's kind of nice. It like cools your face down and it locks the makeup in. So I actually personally find it more mattifying than hydrating. I don't know why they say it's hydrating in there, <laughs> but um, it is a mattifying spray. Helps keep the makeup really locked tight. So I want to talk to you guys about some setting powders. Now, even though I really hated the ColourPop uh, banana powder, I actually really love the medium deep powder. I think it's amazing for warming up the face, especially for my complexion. If you're a little bit more, you know, darker, deeper, that kind of ebony, beautiful goddess tone, you can definitely use it to set your face. It definitely does not give a cakey look at all. Um, it just goes on and once you spray your setting spray it just it looks like a dream um, I did mention that you know it is a very small size I kind of wish they'd given two options like a bigger size and then the smaller one that's nine dollars um, but otherwise you know I really do like it I can definitely see myself repurchasing it once I'm done another setting powder that's been the bomb that I reviewed earlier is the hourglass veil translucent setting setting powder. This baby is so finely milled. The packaging is gorgeous. Let me just show you. You've got this beautiful, um, you know, little gold area where the powder sits. It, there's an H in the little um, sifter and, you know, H for hourglass. And it's just so nice because honestly, all you have to do is like tip it over and then the powder just sits there. So it really reduces that powdery mess, which I hate. <laughs> I hate cleaning that up when I'm done doing my makeup, it sucks. So I'm more partial to those, you know, powders that have covers or sifters that are more appropriate and don't make a mess, you know what I mean? Okay, so this next one is an oldie but a goodie for me. This is the Morphe Dare to Create palette. It's freaking huge. When I open it up, you're gonna see all the beautiful, beautiful colors in here. So this baby right here, if you like colors, if you like neutrals, there's just so much good stuff in here. And I'm really sad because they actually, it was a limited edition item. They don't offer it anymore. And I feel like out of all the stuff that Morphe has made, literally their best product is just like, you know, it's unavailable. So I'm sorry if you don't have this and you're like, ooh, I really wanna try this. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they bring it back this year for the holidays because I think it was one of the most loved palettes that actually sold out. Uh, I can't believe that they didn't bring it back, unfortunately, but there's just so many beautiful colors. I think that the formula is great, probably one of the better ones out of the Morphe palette, um, but there's just so many options here. Like you could never really get bored. I mean, it's huge it might not be that great for traveling but if you can manage it you know I mean you're gonna have a ton of looks to choose from now if you enjoyed this video you should definitely check out my latest empties video right up there it's got some products that I've used up and I'm telling you whether it's worth it to purchase it or not go ahead and smash that subscribe button I love you guys and I will see you in the next video bye